Live in London with more on the events marking life and the incredible legacy of Queen Elizabeth and those long lines of mourners waiting to pay their respects miles long, Kira. That's right, up to eight hours to just get a glimpse of the Queen. You know, for seven decades uh, and an icon for eternity is what we're talking about. Remembering Queen Elizabeth as the pop culture, even counterculture icon that she was, she witnessed the most radical and fundamental movements from politics to art to social norms, and she led her country through it all, never losing her cool and maintaining impeccable royal composure. From the Beatles to Pet Shop Boys to Elton John, there are songs about the Queen, and then there are skits as well. Movies from Saturday Night Live, even to Paddington Bear. Perhaps you would like a marmalade sandwich. I always keep one for emergencies. So do I. I keep mine in here. As Britain's longest ruling monarch, Queen Elizabeth reigned in an era of monumental change. It would only make sense that she would become a fixture that truly influenced pop culture. For more, I'm joined by our Royals contributor, Omid Scobie, once again. You know, she was arguably the most famous person on this earth. And now that she's passed, who can fill those shoes? How, how, will, how will she remain within pop culture? I mean, when you think of Britain on the world stage, you think of Cool Britannia, you think of the red double-decker buses, you think of Big Ben, you also think of the Queen. And that iconic image of her, you know, we were talking about this earlier, you even look at the silhouettes of the Queen. You don't even need to see a photo and you know exactly who it is. And there are very few people on this planet that can make that claim. That's so true. And just, um, looking not only at the pop culture, but I was making a notes of exactly the events I, I didn't want to forget where she made all these iconic cameos. Of course, Paddington the Bear, that movie, right? But also the Olympics here in London with James Bond, AKA Daniel Craig, one of our favorite Brits. She went viral with Harry and the Obamas to promote the Invictus Games. I mean, it's, it's, there's so many more. Well, I think that's what a lot of people don't know about the Queen is that she had a great sense of humour, but also an interest not just in arts and culture for herself, but also what was happening on the world stage and on the British stage. And she wanted to be a part of it. I think for her it was always important to be visible, to reach out to demographics and younger generations that wouldn't necessarily connect with the royal family. So you talk about some of those viral moments, that's why she was always up for doing them. And it's what I think those are the moments that we would have some tiny bit of insight into just to what she was like behind the scenes. So for full disclosure, everybody, no, not everybody, but a lot of people were asking me, why was I not wearing black? A lot of the journalists here with the other networks are, are wearing black. And it's because, and I hope you can support me on this, I've always known her to be such a fashion icon with her colors. And if you look at all the times she's made appearances, all the various countries, various leaders, she wears bright, beautiful colors. And so every day I've been trying to represent <laughs> the queen in some way with a bit of happy color. So are you okay that I wore this color it's today? It's the perfect homage because the queen always spoke about to be seen is to be believed. and. Listen, she's been a fashion pioneer. There were times where the sort of color palette of the female wardrobe in the UK was kind of drab. But she went for those bold pops of color because she knew in a crowd, even if you were a mile down the street, you would see that little pink dot or that little yellow dot and you would know where she is. So I, I see this as the best tribute that you could possibly have. Here we go, the little orange dot with you <laughs> with the beautiful Westminster Abbey behind us. Couldn't be more apps. Thank you, Ovid, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.